two weeks against the Nasty Boys for the World Tag Team Championship, Arn Anderson. As much as things change, some things stay the same. Kevin and Austin said, I was too fat. He was too stupid. This is the 90s. We were the 80s. They said it couldn't be done. Well, it looks like to me, I've slimmed up, and he must have smartened up because we were smart enough and skinny enough to take these belts away from you. Now, hindsight is 2020. When you insult a man, expect retribution. Now we move towards fall ball. Pimmel and Austin, you're up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The blondes are out here. Gentlemen, before you get too carried away with these delusions of grandeur, let me remind you of one thing. When it comes to the World Tag Team Championship, and everybody out there knows it, it all revolves around the Hollywood Blondes. We write the script, and I can assure you of one thing. This story has a long way to go, and when it's all said and done, the only notoriety you two will have will be an obscure reference in the credits as two token extras. <laughs> you guys are just a couple of puppets, and you know who's holding the string? It's the Hollywood Blondes. Now, you're a fat puppet, and you're a stupid puppet, but a puppet nonetheless. And whether you've got those belts or you don't got the belts, what you've got to realize is that tag team wrestling right now and in the 90s revolves around the Hollywood Blondes. Hey, you can call him stupid and you can call me fat, but since you're the script writers, you're gonna have to call us one thing for a while, and that's champ, dig it? And we are out of time. See you next week on World